Hey guys, what up? So I have a question from one of my viewers, and he's asking me how much do, do you think? Um, he's asking me how much he's gonna make uh, coming out of a boot camp, and like what a, what a developer salary should be coming out of a boot camp. And you know, clearly you can't answer that um, w with just one specific figure because every every different geographic area has different living expenses. So a salary in San Francisco is not gonna be the same thing as something in the middle of the United States or whatever. Um, so I. I would say honestly, um, I'm going to take a moment to actually talk about some of the issues with with the boot camps because a lot of people have asked me about that. Uh, as you guys know, my previous sponsor, Dev Mountain, they were a coding boot camp, um, so I, I have some familiarity with them. I, I would say, and you know, I've seen obviously so many of them uh, pop up over the years. And earlier this year, Dev Boot Camp uh, announcing that they were going out of business with you know, multiple locations and, and being the first one to really revolutionize and kickstart this uh, coding boot camp industry back in 2012. Um, you know, them all, also being owned by a multi-million dollar company that basically said, hey, we're, you know, everything we're doing here is not a, sus a sustainable business model and we're just going to shut down. Um, that was really concerning, especially considering the fact that the next boot camp was the Iron Yard to announce that they were going to be uh, shutting down. And then like a month later, I get a call from my previous sponsor, Dev Mountain, saying they're pulling back from like, you know, budgeting issues and things like that. So we're seeing the industry that was booming um, is really starting to, sh to, I would say not, not necessarily shrink up, but it's starting to solidify. And that naturally happens like when you have new industries um th there's going to be massive amounts of companies and people trying to invest time and effort into it uh eventually there's going to be like you know this uh, like i said solidifying and you're going to see larger companies kind of take hold and i think that's what we're in the process uh, of of seeing now but the the problem with boot camps that i see is that um they seem a lot of them are seem to advertise hey you can spend eleven thousand dollars and go through this coding boot camp and we'll be able to get you a job. And the problem is, is that if you're like a truck driver or you're a plumber or something like that, um, and in both of those jobs I did in my previous life, if you have no interest in coding and like if I went immediately from a truck and just jumped into a coding boot camp, um, I don't think it's it's feasible for me to be able to find a job within twelve or sixteen weeks. I, I I just, um, you know, it's definitely not sustainable. The company that I end up getting hired into, um, there's just going to be too much to learn, too much I don't know. Uh, and it would be way too overwhelming, and I'd probably end up getting fired very quickly, even at the beginning, uh, beginner level, you know, developer salary. So I've seen developer boot camps provide success to real people, to real people I know. In fact, I worked with a guy that was a, um, he taught at the Iron Yard. And... These these companies have definitely had success, but I think the issue is that there, there's just too many people that have flooded these programs that had no general like interest in, in IT and programming uh, before joining. And the ones that truly have like long term success with with boot camps are probably the ones who actually took an interest in programming before somebody like you know prodded them or some commercial flashed in front of their eyes. Hey, you can make ninety thousand dollars a year um, if you just you know take our course and pay $12,000 in, in you know, 16 weeks, you definitely will have that salary. I don't know. It's just not, it's not really feasible, unfortunately. Um, but it is like a great supplemental thing to somebody who already has program, programming experience. If you already have an online portfolio and things that you can point to and say, I went to a coding boot camp. I'm sure that all, you know, that really helps and pads the resume and things like that. Um, but for somebody like with no general interest in IT, just to hop into a, a coding boot camp and expect to be able to make 90,000 coming right out of it, um, it's just not reasonable. So there's been articles and everything on uh, going back. If you read, uh, like I was, it was a Bloomberg article about a year ago that said if you want an IT job, then don't go to a coding boot camp. And they explain um, that talking to a lot of hiring managers and things like that, um, these hiring managers were expecting, you know, mid-level programming talent to be coming out of the boot camps. And what they were finding is, you know, some some very 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 junior level uh, developers and. And, you know, and I think with companies like Dev Bootcamp and things, they, they probably felt that it was inappropriate for them to be taking students uh, that they knew probably weren't going to be able to succeed in the industry and still taking that money from them. Um, and it was probably borderline. I'm not sure if you would call that unethical, but if you knew that somebody was never going to be able to get a job um, 
as a programmer and still took, you know, $12,000 from them. It's, it's, it feels like robbery a little bit, but, um, I don't know. Hopefully the boot camps do do you know better screening and things like that. They shouldn't just try to um, promote this like that anybody can be a coder and things like that. People should naturally develop an interest in coding and and that should probably develop over time, you know, anywhere from months to years probably before anybody's even ready for junior level talent at at, at most uh, positions that I've seen anyway. So in a way, I think some of these companies feel guilty for being like front and center when it comes to telling everybody in the world that anybody can be a coder and that you just have to join their program and they'll make you into one. Um, you know, the, you, you have to be a nerd at heart or at least, you know, start to develop those nerd tendencies. And, and those curiosities, I think, have to come from within. And I think the fact that um, or really when they don't, it's just not going to succeed. And no matter how good the, the developer boot camp is, it's just not going to work. Um, and it's really not going to work even with a four year college degree, probably. But um, at least, you know, at least you, you learn a lot of skills in college and things like that, that would also be able to transition into more of maybe an analyst business management, things like that, um, that could still be involved in IT and, and not necessarily be a coder. But the, the thing is, is, people should at least enjoy to code. Uh, if you truly hate it, um, or if you've never had any sort of interest in it and just jump into a boot camp, probably not going to work. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.